It's time to pack my FMF Power Core 4. Uh, I'm not sure if it needs to be packed, but my friends are telling me that my bike is way too loud. So I'm going to take it apart today and uh, repack it. I bought uh, some packing material by Fly Racing. Uh, this should be working just fine. Um, it's $20. Uh, I bought it from Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the video description. To pack it, basically you have to take it apart. So first you have to take it off the bike. Uh, I have plenty of videos how to do that. Check out my other videos. Uh, there are some Allen wrench bolts over here you have to take out. So uh, this, these will have to go out. Make sure you use the right Allen wrench so you don't strip them. So I got this far when I put it in a vise and it's moving on its... Uh, it's turning left and right, but it's still not coming loose. Well, it's out. And it's out only because nobody told me I have to remove the freaking spark arrestor. Every video I saw online never mentioned anything about a freaking spark arrestor. So this spark arrestor has a bolt. It's right at the bottom over here. And then once that bolt is out, it actually opens pretty easy. So, yeah, time to repack. Well, that's an ugly thing. It's a little bit different than the ones that I saw online. I was watching a video of a power core like this. And somehow this inside came out, but this one seems to be disassembling differently. So very, very important. There's a little nut over here at the end that holds everything together. So um, we're going to repack it. Basically, I'm going to put all the material back in here and then just slide this piece on top of it. So that's all it is. And remember, there is a top piece and a bottom piece. So when you install this one, the, 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 the part over there has to align up with this part over here. It seems like the longer part is going to go uh, following this. Basically, what I have to do is just jam it in here. It's not super complicated, but it seems that each exhaust is a little bit different than the other. So this has to fit in here. Just pack it in really good. Use gloves because this is uh, some nasty stuff for your skin. Make sure you don't put it upside down, very, very important. So when you install it, remember this part has to follow the, the exhaust part, so. Not sure how good is, oh yeah, you can see it through here. Uh, if it's folded in there, it's not good. So you want to make sure it doesn't fold in there the wrong way. And so you don't have any leaks over here. It's recommended to use some silicone, some high temperature silicone. Okay, so it's all siliconed around. And now it's just a matter of sliding it in. Remember, this part has to match. It has to go in here. So there it is. And then there's like some holes over here that they have to line up. Very important. Those holes are very, very important. You're ready to put your bolts in. Now with your finger, just run the silicone off so it doesn't look too funny. Now you have to install the spark arrestor. So this is the spark arrestor. You gotta install this one uh, here at the end. Clean it if it's full of crap. The star caraster can go in here. You could put silicone on it. it. It doesn't really matter over here that much. And then you have this little bolt that will have to go back in. And that's about it. And then you're ready to put it back on the bike. I just finished the repack on the PowerCore uh, 4 FMF. 
So I've just finished the, 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 the repack on it. Let's see how it's gonna sound. Also, I fixed the leak. I had a little leak over here. So I put some uh, uh, special stuff for, for fixing that.